Well, hello from southeast of High Solar Haven. I guess we can call this the nighttime edition again. But anyway, um, I was uh, I had an epiphany. Uh, well, I don't know if you want to call it an epiphany, but an idea. Actually, I forgot about having this old smart UPS 1400 battery backup uh, for computer stuff and uh, currently I run a 48 volt UPS in my house so for computers and stuff uh, that way I can you know power goes out I can switch over to off grid a lot easier and I remembered that they were 24 volt and I thought I got reading the manual up on it and I thought, well, wait a minute. These things can automatically turn on without being plugged in as long as it had a battery source. And I remembered seeing a few of them on YouTube and all that happy jazz. And I thought, I wonder if this will work for what I want it to do. So, of course, I come out here and started thinking. Then I put some battery clamps on some wires used a 40 amp maxi fuse to be on the safe side now I'm going to take these down well it looks like that little crimp thing is being tightened on that but I can do that later anyway these battery cables came off of this jumper cable 4 gauge jumper cable set I got at Home Depot. It's a four gauge set. I believe they were $24.95 when I found them and you get like a 20 foot. I mean, I think they're 19 foot come think about. Any, anyway you get, I'll come over here and show you. you. Get this nice little four gauge cable. That's a two conductor cable. Makes it easy to run stuff. Which I think I showed you over there, so which comes out of the charge controller, comes down and boo -doo -doo -doo, straight to the batteries. Well, anyway, I done tested this beforehand. That way I knew I wasn't going to fail, so. <laughs> anyway, I take these battery clamps connected on those connectors because I didn't want to connect it full time. I figured it would be safer to only connect it when needed. Now, this will take a little bit of a spark. See that? And that's because of the loading capacitors. Now, I'm going to come over here and check this out. I'm going to hit this switch. It'll beep probably. Well, I'll clear it. Then it'll beep. But if I do it again... Now listen to it. It powers up. Now we're using... Now, well, we're not using anything from it right now. But if I hit this button one more time, it shuts the beep off. These do have a low voltage battery protection circuit in them. They only go down to a certain amount. I can't remember what it is, but they won't completely kill the battery. They'll use a lot of the power down to nothing if you lit them but check this out there's the shop light I'm going to plug it right into the back of this down here you can see down here it's kind of a dark little corner but we'll plug it in come up here turn the light on check that out guys and it's running so yeah you can use a 24 volt UPS if you have a 24 volt I assume you probably could use a 48 volt I've seen other guys do it I want to say average Joe on his YouTube channel has been doing something similar in some of his videos with UPS systems and uh, right here I'm gonna plug my uh, DeWalt battery charger in Let's see if this works. Well, 
It's a single charger. Gonna put a six amp battery on it. Check it out. Blinking away, charging. So, yeah, if you're in need for something like that and you can find these dirt cheap, I mean, even people living off grid that, uh, you know, don't have the ability to buy a new inverter and don't have the money to shell out. These are pure sine wave. They are. I want to say they're low frequency because they do got a big transformer in them. Um, this one here is a APC model. Smart UPS 1400. Now don't let that number fool you because that's 1400 volt amps. Um, actually, uh, when you read the specs on the back of these, um, well, I can't find it down in here. It's really uh, hard to find. But uh, I believe it's going to tell you right there, 950 watts. That's 950 watts, but 1400 volt amp is what they really mean. So it'll support 950 watts. I don't think I'll ever need that type of power out here because basically this is this is a system I've put together you know I had this laying around I probably uh, Lord I've had that for years had it in the garage and I just sat there thinking well maybe I'll just clean it up a little bit and bring it out here and see if this idea works well it works well, run an air conditioner? Probably not. But, it's running these lights, running that battery charger, it'll run a fan. I guarantee it'll run a window fan or of some sort. You know, not a big one, but a fan. Uh, battery voltage, 24.73. That's kind of all right for these batteries because technically what I found out was these are kind of high draw UPS batteries to begin with. So like if I had two more, you know, this would be just a golden situation, I figure. But with two batteries, you know, you can run a laptop, you know, you don't need all these lights on running. Um give you an idea what's going on here i'll turn this turn this on here let's get this to uh frequency mode see what we're actually i'm going to say these are pretty most of these are pretty dead on about 60 hertz so they usually as you can see there yeah 59.99 i think we can call that 60 hertz bounce it back and forth as you can see right there so yeah that's pretty well a pure sine wave there's no up and down on it frequency there's no crazy uh frequency shifting uh well well, well shoot i should even i should have done that too let's go back to it we will put it in okay it's in ac mode so now you can see uh i'll put these right here terminals inside here be careful You can't ask for better. That's 122.3 volts. That's, you know, that's dead on arrival there. I mean, that's dead voltage at 120, 122. You got 60 hertz sine wave going on. Can't ask for anything better. Um, as you can see, the voltage really isn't dropping it. They settle down, so. And they'll pop right back up once. Uh, I'm probably not drawing that much current from the battery. Um, I tested it earlier with it on at idle. It was about 1.5 amps at 24 volts. So it draws about 30 to 40 watts at idle. And then, you know, turn a 40 watt lamp on and then your battery charger is going to probably draw 100 amps not 100 amps 100 watts because of them charging the battery 
Uh, I think that one might only draw a couple though because it doesn't do, I got a big dual battery charger and it'll draw some power. But, uh, yeah, brought me some more, uh, 12 volt fans in the work. That keeps it nice and air flowy in here when, uh, I don't want to come out here and turn the air conditioning on at night time because it's dark. In fact, it's about two o'clock in the morning and you're like, geez, you stay up late. Well, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Most of the time I do and because it's just too dang hot to do anything during the day, um, hopefully the weather We'll start cooling down here and I'll get a lot more done. I haven't done the wire pool because it's just been too muggy outside. I can't take the humidity. I don't like it. But, uh, yeah. That's how we do it with UPS. You get you one of these and, uh, it'll do the job. Uh, I knew I probably could do it, but I didn't realize I could until I, you know, I wanted to test it before I did this video for you guys. And, uh, you know, it's just as simple as turning, you know, operating it and connecting up some wires. I've got uh, a four gauge on there. Like I said, I got a 40 amp fuse in there, which tells you. And yeah, I used a car fuse. Actually, the type of fuse I'm using is a 40 amp maxi fuse. I had a whole bunch of these from an old car that I took to the junkyard years and years and years ago so i stripped all the fuses out of it before i took it to the junkyard so but anyway i wanted to give you an update on that idea and let you all know hey I, you can use these for something um i know i'm probably a little late on the punch but for my uh setup it's doing what i want it to do and that's probably what i'll stick with until that blows up um, otherwise I got this going on and that going on and those going on and all the lights going on and even the radio was on but I turned it down because you know, music and YouTube <laughs> but anyway I am going to let you ladies and gentlemen go and have a nice day and remember click that like button down there Click that bell notification whenever you want to get notifications of my videos. I appreciate all the subscribers that's been subscribing. And click that subscribe button because it only hurt once. Anyway. Adios people. Stay safe. Have a good day. I'll catch you later.